To install the Leveler Model 9700, you will need the following tools. A power drill, a 1 and an eighth inch hole saw, a round metal file, a center punch and hammer, a regular pliers and channel lock pliers. Do not install on sloped areas of the bin or within 8 inches of obstructions inside the bin. Also, be sure to account for the angle of the fill when determining your installation location. The first thing to do is apply the sticker and drill the hole. First off, wipe the bin wall clean with a damp cloth, and the next, apply the black diamond shaped sticker to the bin wall, positioning it horizontally. Note, on corrugated bin walls, make sure the hole of the sticker sits in the end curve of the corrugation. Use a punch and hammer to mark the 1 and an eighth inch center hole of the sticker to prevent your drill bit from walking. Drill the center quarter inch hole in the bin wall. Next, enlarge the hole to a 1 and an eighth inch diameter by using a hole saw containing a quarter inch rod for accuracy. After the hole has been cut, file it to remove burrs and sharp edges. And remember to remove metal shavings from the bin floor inside. Now it's time to install the activator assembly. Thread the installation plug through the nut and the spacer. Next, slide the installation plug straight into the slotted holes of the activator frame and turn counterclockwise to lock into place. Remove the green plastic stick from the middle of the activator fabric and then tightly roll the fabric around the frame. Insert the rolled up activator through the hole. The stop ring will prevent the activator from falling into the bin. Pull the stop ring and line up the yellow arrow on the sticker with the yellow arrow on the activator frame. With the yellow arrows aligned, keep light tension on the stop ring and start to thread the nut onto the activator frame by hand. To tighten the nut further, hold the installation plug with pliers and turn using channel lock pliers. Do not over tighten this. Afterward, remove the installation plug by turning it clockwise. Finally, it's time to install the connecting rod and indicator assembly. Insert the connecting rod into the orange o-ring of the activator frame. Push the connecting rod all the way down until you hit the bend. Lightly pull up on the connecting rod until you feel the groove of the rod pop into the o-ring. Next, place the gasket on the back of the indicator, insert the tip of the indicator approximately 30% to align with the yellow line on the sticker. Push the indicator onto the activator frame and then turn counterclockwise until it locks into place. Once the grain reaches the height of your indicator, it will turn yellow to alert you of the fill level.